Hmm. Unless there's a white horse down here somewhere. Hmm. Back to this room. What's the second clue again? The tired horse from sleeping near there without fear. His white horse sending tall whispered into my ear. Sleeping man, white horse. No. Hmm. I will find the white horse. Countryside, painted by Salomon van Rushdael, born in the first few years of the 17th century, died 1670. It makes you want to rest for a moment. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's a particular kind of all around. A study by Tiepolo. The Trojans bring the Greek horse into their city, causing their own ruin. Thus, it's best to beware of certain gifts. Yes, okay, so it was around here. Then we had... Three. Four was in here. So there's no... Okay, so there doesn't seem to be any kind of order to it all. Rider and a white horse. There aren't any in here, no. And he left them up. So he so the, it's gonna be found somewhere here, is it? Somewhere on display. But my thing isn't zooming towards it. Ooh. Jacob with a flock of Laban by Giuseppe de Ribera, mm. also called Lo Spagnoletto, or the Little Spaniard because of his height. White horse is there. La Tela Real by the great Spanish master Diego Velazquez, 1599 to 1660, painted from the golden century of Spain. It depicts a royal boar hunt. Hmm. Are they copies of each other, aren't they? Look at. Hmm. So the year they were in the year it's painted. Where is this white horse? Maybe I'm misunderstanding. A tired horseman was sleeping near there without fear. His white horse standing tall whispered into my ear. Okay. Unless there's... Press the wrong button there. Aha! Hiding. What I've been looking for. It is indeed. When it was painted. Look. A white horse standing by a sleeping man. By Peter Verbeek. Possibly derived from a 1652 print by Paulus Potter. It seems that I have found the four numbers from Lupin's poem. Now, what do I do with them? Not an interesting question. Let's find out. Right. Right. First is the year of purchase. I swear, fish and cabbage and boy and animal. First minus second. Then times third minus fourth. So, first minus second. Then times third, if put it in brackets, minus the fourth, okay. So that's 1874 minus 1652 equals 2, 2, 2. Multiplied by 49 equals, you're times it by 50. 1, 0, 0, minus 2, 2, 2 equals 8. Carry the one, uh, three, so eight, and then 
minus the fourth again. So that's four, eight. I'm sorry, I'm just doing this in my head. Seven, seventeen, nine, eight. Eight, nine, eight, four, I think. So let's, uh, let's go and uh, try that down here, as I thought. Whoa! So, eight, nine, eight. So, oh. oh, okay, so it's which way we put it? Eight, and then four. Open. Ha ha! Yes, indeed. A wig and a cushion. For the stomach, no doubt. There is also Belmont's cap and clothing. Indeed. A half-empty bottle of champagne. To pass the time, no doubt. This is what must have happened. Lupin entered the museum disguised as Belmont. After our meeting, he pretended to leave, but, in fact, came to hide in the case that Palinor had emptied whilst doing his inventory. A hook permitted him to close the case from the inside, and he calmly waited until the time was right. Once alone, he got out and helped his accomplice enter through the skylight without fearing the police. And now we have another painting. Ooh. It's the painting by my great uncle. Look, there is a paper attached. Dear Mr. Holmes, you should have your feet with the parts of my disguise from yesterday. No doubt you would have liked to have removed them from me whilst I was still wearing them. It's possible. Find me in the museum disguised like this, and remove my postiches. Beware. Do it with care and precision, for I am sensitive. That and the fact that you might destroy the next clue. Find me in the museum disguised like this. Ah. So, the self-portrait. I should stop at some point. <laughs> well, I'm enjoying this little riddle series. I know some of them, it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. I, don't need I have had to look at hints. Self-portrait by Horace Velmont. Hmm, a bit narcissistic, that one. This painting has an oil base, but is covered in a fine coat of water paint. I should ask the director how to remove it. No, I just need water. I just need water. Or are you going to make me ask? If it's got water-based paint, you use water to remove it, which will leave the oil. So I just need to get this water. Or are you going to make me actually have to ask? Water. <sighs> Making me ask. Grr. Right, so let's go and ask him. He'll tell us to use, use water. Hello. What do you want, Mr. Holmes? Restoration. Sorry to disturb you, gentlemen. Can you explain how to remove a fine layer of water paint that is covering an oil painting? Rest assured, it does not concern a piece from the museum's collection. It's simple. You'll need some water to soften the paint, a paintbrush with rigid bristles to scrape off the film, and an absorbent sponge to take it all off. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Good. Let's go. Let's go and get these things that will be in the restoration room. Running backwards and forwards. We'll grab these things. Oh, actually, where do I get the sponge? We haven't found one of those. Water. Hmm, there isn't a sponge around. Oh, there they are. So we'll head back. I'm so intrigued by this square. And uh, we haven't really seen anything about this square over here, have we? Or is that just... No, it's not where we put the ladders. Although that might be where they put their ladder to, to um, get to that. You and I, Lupin. I need something. Oh, is it just? I need something. I need something. What do you mean? I need something. I need something. I'd have to do something else first. I need something. Raise the sponge first. Click, clicky, click, 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 click. I need something. What do I need? I need something. 
Oh. Do I just faint over everything? Gotta be careful there, because, ooh. Okay, so it's just this middle bit that he's on. Yeah, you can just see the slight difference there anyway. Okay. Keep going. Hmm. Really bizarre kind of hybrid between them. Hmm. I'm sure, I got more of this off, but obviously not. Oh, because he's got a monocle on. Okay. Done. Can we get rid of the rest of the paint now? Urgh. I'm not sure I'm entirely sure what I'm meant to be doing. Get rid of this wig. I'm kind of frustrated there isn't like a just use the sponge on everything button because this is just being fiddly Brr. rub 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 ok nothing there need to just wash that bit off then rub 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 but he still has the old uh, this cane, doesn't he? Ooh. C something something something. Can I ugh like my magnifying glass just to get a better look at it? everything and then yes he's holding his stick and just why can't I stop yet it's, it's, I've, I've done it give it another go over this is rather pointless I'm not getting more information from this How much do I need to arbitrarily do before the game says, Ah, oh, yes, you've done this all. Hooray! Get everything out. Is it even left? Oh, do I need to get this little tiny bit? Right, are we done now? Could I have just closed before? Right, no. Oh, get rid of the last vestiges of this Horace Belmont figure. Or do I just need to get rid of all the watercolour? Makes zero sense. Doesn't help. Ugh. There's nothing left to get rid of on him. He is. 
much be I need to get rid of all of this. Just because. I'd like a control like control A just sponge everything. Jean-Antoine Watteau. That's not at all what I clicked on. Still a bit more around here, apparently. Not that that's gonna... Oh! Uh, this tiny bit here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Hmm. More painting and... A little bit here to do. I don't think so. I think I might just be lighting. <sighs> Can't I just focus on this clue? On his uh, in his in his pocket. This isn't even doing anything. This is not giving me more information about Lupin. Come on. Ah. Hmm. I will finish this. Is there even anything else left to do? It's a bit over here. Get rid of the water. It doesn't seem to be like, be like there's anything left here. Crap, crap. But yeah. There's nothing left over here. Come on. No. Can't really seem to get rid of any of this. I don't know what I meant to do with this. Okay, I'm actually going to look a hint on what to do for this if there is one. Oh no, no, I did want that one. Okay. Right, who will tell you? Yes. I know, already got them. Switch back to the brush, eventually a cord will become visible. Oh, so I can just go, there is a clue here. There is a bright red C <sighs> on this calling card in addition to a poem. This letter must be the beginning of a word or phrase. Now to find the others. <sighs> well, that's frustrating. I just didn't click on the right thing. C. The red surrounding the green isn't right, but for a clue you must look inwardly. If nothing is found, despite your great mind, my success will make you green with envy. Well, we know what that is, but uh, I think we, uh, we won't go and uh, deal with the green monstrosity over here. Uh, well, not now. We'll do that next time. <laughs> I hope you've, en you've enjoyed this so far. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.